Hello viewers, in this session we will discuss about joints in concrete structure. So first of all you might have a question arise that why we are providing joints in construction elements because the structural elements of the any type of the structure has been applied different types of the stresses and due to the stresses the cracks are develops and due to the temperature there is an effect to the stress of on the, on the concrete element and due to that the cracks are develops and as we know the concrete is influenced by the temperature with increase or decrease so for the preventing the cracks we have to provide joints in the construction elements so we will discuss about the types of the construction joint in details and why we are providing this type of the joints so what is joints joints are plant breaks we are already planned for particular joints for the particular situation of the element of the structure and which allow to move and prevent the random cracking so this is already planned before the construction of the any type of the structure for preventing the cracking for registering the different type of the stresses applied on the elements so joints are plant break in concrete which allow to move and prevent to the random cracking there are basic four types of the joints first one is construction joints second one is contraction joints third one is expansion joints and fourth one is isolation joints so these four types of the basic joints we are using in our construction elements the construction joints are used depending upon the situation and resistivity of the different stresses which happen in your existing site so depending on your stresses we have to select the particular type of the joints so let us discuss one by one in detail first one is construction joints the construction joints are occur of a section when the two successive concreting operation occurs after an interval you can see on your screen the construction joints are placed between the fresh concrete and old concrete for example we have a larger area of the concrete surface and we have to do the concreting for the particular larger slab area but it is not possible to concrete all the surface in a same day or particular time of the concreting in that case we have to take interval and after then we have to do the second portion of the remaining for the concreting for example we have a larger area of the concreting slab and it is not possible to do the 100% of the work in a day so we have to complete for particular area and the remaining portion we will complete in the next day i am taking an example the 50% of the concreting is done in the one day and the remaining portion of the 50 percentage of the concreting in the second day so here you can see this is the larger area of the slab but it is not possible to concreting in the same day or particular time so in that case we have to do the particular aid the possible concreting in the same day and the remaining portion will be done in next day 
so between the old concrete and the new concrete we have to place the construction joints and as we know it is not possible to do the larger area of the concreting in the same day due to the limitation of the technology and the labors and the equipments and other resources so in that case we required the construction joint in our construction field these are the temporary joints should be pre-planned before the concreting is started as we know that we can calculate the all the events in the all the structure for the particular project of the work so we can identify the events time and arrangement and then we can pre-plan for the type of the joints so this is the pre-plan joint and provide a minimum bending moment in a horizontal and the vertical so remember the one important point you have to provide it at the minimum bending moment so it can be resist and if we talk about the classification of the construction joint there are the two types of the construction joints first one is horizontal construction joints second one is vertical construction joints so there are the two types of the construction joints now let us discuss in detail the construction joint are classified in two way first one is horizontal construction joint and the second one is vertical construction joints horizontal construction joints are provided in the walls and column for example the vertical members if we talk about the vertical construction joints we are providing in the horizontal member like slab beams and other horizontal surfaces so if we talk about the horizontal construction joint it provides at the top of the plinth or the top or the bottom of the window openings if we talk about the vertical construction joint it should be formed at the point of the minimum shear if we talk about the types of construction joints you can see on your screen the different types of the construction joints you can see on your screen here the first one is butt type construction joint and here the joints is placed between the older and newer concrete and the next type is tongue and groove construction joints here the groove sack is placed in this type of the joints so this is the tongue and groove construction joint and third one is butt type construction joint with dowels here the dowels is attached to improving the bonding between older and newer concrete and here the updated version and here the fourth type is butt type construction joint with the tie bar so here the deformed bar of the tie bar is placed for the improving the bonding of the concrete so these are the four types of the construction joint you can place between the older and newer concrete and you can get the proper bonding with older and newer portion of the concrete mass so this is all about the construction joint now let us discuss about the expansion joint as we know that the increasing of the temperature the concrete will be expand with the decreasing of the temperature the concrete will shrink if the increasing of the temperature the concrete will expand so there will be stresses are generated and due to these stresses the cracks will be developed so we have to allow to for movement of the concrete due to the temperature changes so this is the one of the joint which name is expansion joints here you can see on your screen here you can see on your screen the concrete expand slightly when the temperature rises and concrete shrinks upon the drying and expand upon the subsequent wetting so here the stresses are developed you can see on your screen and due to the stresses of due to the stresses the cracks are developed in the concrete mass and this type of the cracks will be happen in the concreting mass so in case of the small building the magnitude of the expansion is really less and therefore 
the no joint is required in either in the floor or the roof slab but in case of the long building expansion is very large and may be such as the 25 mm it's depending upon the type of the element and the and depending upon the type of the element and the existing site and situation and you can see the expansion joint is provided for the allowing to moving of the concrete mass and it's provided longer than the 45 meter long building if your building size is less so there is no requirement for the expansion joint but it is necessary for the long construction building long construction element in that case you have to allow the movement of the concrete so in that case you have to provide the expansion joints now you can see on your screen this is the expansion joint is provided on the bridge and here you can see the expansion joints we are also provided in the railway bridge here masonry expansion joint is provided in the masonry wall so these are the different types of the expansion joint provided in the different situation in the different construction site now let us discuss about contraction joints and it is also known as dummy or control joints this type of the joints provided to preventing the cracks against to the shrinkage and any other volumetric changes while the drying shrink of the concrete mass so construction joints are provided register cracks due to the shrinkage and you can see on your screen contraction joints it is placed with this groove and just you have to provide the grooving of the upper surface and with the particular dimension so contraction joints are made at the time of the concreting by the embedding of the timber bottom or the plank of the suitable thickness this type of the joints are placed while you concreting of the particular element and in that case you have to you have to uh, put the uh, wooden plank or the any other material for the providing of the grooving and after the concreting just you have to remove the planks or the any other materials and then our main object is providing the grooving on the concreting surface and that this plank is the removed when the concrete is hardened so the depth of the joint should be one third to the one fourth of the height of the total thickness of this slab for example your depth slab thickness is d so here the depth of the groove should be one third to one fourth of the depth of the slab so here you can see the contraction joint is it it is also known as control joints and it's provided to register cracks against the shrinkage now let us discuss about construction joint provide while you concreting or after the concreting work so if you have already concreting mass and in that case you have to screw cut with the screw cut on the upper surface of the concrete surface and then you have to create this groove with the height of one fourth of the total depth of the slab and if you are concreting work is if if you want to place this type of the joint while you concreting so in that case you have to put this particular dimension of the plastic strip or the wooden plank or any other material and then after the hardening of the concrete just you have to remove that that will be your construction joints so you can provide the construction joint in the two way after concreting and before and during the concreting work now let us discuss about isolation joints isolation joints are provided for the at which the horizontal member is joined with the vertical member so in that case that there will be different bending moment and other stresses will be developed so in that case the cracks are developed so preventing that this type of the situation we have to provide the isolation joints when the vertical member like columns foundation blocks and the walls and the machine foundation 
to meet the horizontal member like any type of the surface in that case you have to provide the isolation joints and the width of the such joints is kept about 10 mm and these joints are filled the resilience to material for the enhancing the resistivity against the cracks and the tapped with the joint filling compounds to prevent the ingress of the moisture and the and the undesirable materials so the isolation joints are provided at the joint of vertical member to the horizontal member so if we talk about the types of joints so there are the four types of the joints construction joint contraction joint expansion joints and isolation joints and depending upon the stresses in your element of the structure there will be cracks developed and for the resisting of this type of the cracks you have to provide the particular type of the joints depending upon your site and the situation and developing of the stresses at your existing site so this all about the joints thank you